Hey, this is Sour Savior. I'm doing some digging above my nether base. I've been working on getting the bedrock cleaned out, which is pretty boring work. So I'm only now starting recording now that I think I'm done enough. And so now I'm going to just be expanding this circle down. Right now we are carefully measured directly above my uh, existing nether base, which if we pop over here, you can see it's just down there. Digging out edges first. As you can probably see in the upper right, uh, that beacon over there is generating haste 2, which isn't necessary for this netherrack, but there's quite a bit of blackstone and basalt uh, in this area where I'm working, so I wanted to save some time uh, mining those. And since I finally recovered the beacon kit from that uh, far off island where I had been collecting dirt, I'm good to go. Pretty much direct. Oh, there's some more ceiling rocks. There we go. Pretty much directly above us, uh, where we are here, is the uh, nether portal that I have up on the nether roof. Which is where the gold farm and the piglin trade farms both are. Overzealous digging, that was just a natural hole in the landscape. Okay. Well, inventory is full, so let's get some boxes down. Blackstone, Netherrack, and oh, time to start a new basalt box. Probably gonna need to start a new netherrack box before long. But before we do, let's fill in some of this because we don't need to leave any caves that mobs can spawn in uh, this close to the nether ceiling because that sort of thing tends to slow down the ceiling farms. Oh, is that too much? Possibly.
sometimes it is really nice to just dig. Building things, uh, complex redstone contraptions or cool art type buildings, uh, those are both very nice, but just collecting blocks, that's a nice relaxing thing to do early on uh, Wednesday morning or whatever other day that you don't have to go to work. fall in there. Sure my netherite stuff would be safe, but a lot of what I have isn't netherite. I'm not full up already, and I'm definitely not. these full boxes and put those away and you know what? we don't need to have quite so many under chests in our hands doesn't matter what blocks I use to fill in the gaps at the edges here uh, because the outer edge that I'm digging out is all going to get replaced by some of the white concrete that I have uh, downstairs that the initial part of this tower is mostly made out of. So that when it's done and you're standing inside by the portal uh, you should be able to look up and see just white concrete walls and the occasional light blue glass window uh, all the way up to the ceiling. And I think I think that'll be a good look. Um, I'm hoping it will be because getting to that point is gonna take a lot of work and once I've put in that work uh, I'm not gonna want to change it. This seems like the sort of thing that I see in a lot of Minecraft live streams, but I don't really have a consistent enough schedule right now to be able to do live streams on a regular basis. If I 
was going to do any live streams, what times would you all be uh, looking to watch them? Uh, preferably include the time zone you're talking about. Uh, I broadcast from the Eastern Standard Time Zone, United States. So that's something to bear in mind. So if you ask for like six in the morning England time or midnight Pacific time, then I won't be awake at all. Whoa, hey. I'm in danger. Here's a gif of Ralph Wiggum on a bus. Oh, hey, would you look at that? This isn't going to go all the way around, though, because the uh, top portion of what I had built up was very uneven. Since I was kind of going with the natural lay of the land, it's still land, even if it's weird nethery stuff. Sour Junior's here with me. Hey, buddy. Uh, what do you think of the um, nether stuff going on here? It's good. Um, since I'm here, I just want to tell you all about my second mother, but not my. Well, uh, let's. Uh, let's not bother to get into that, buddy. I don't think this is the uh, the right place for it. Whoop, don't fall down there. So you sometimes play a game, buddy, that you call Minecraft Real Life Mode. Can you tell our audience a little bit about how Minecraft Real Life Mode works? Okay. Minecraft Real Life Mode is kind of like a Minecraft inside of the real world. Which you might want to play. You if you just have nine blocks, you can play Minecraft real life mode. And beacons don't exist in real Minecraft real life mode because magic doesn't exist. Yeah. So once you've got the magnet blocks, uh, what do you do with them to play Minecraft Real Life Mode? Um, they're not really as sticky. The those aren't the sticky blocks in Minecraft Real Life Mode. A different block is. Okay. Use slime blocks. <coughs> Slime blocks are, f are fidget blocks. 
they wiggle. If you hit them, they wiggle and jiggle. And if you shake them, they just jiggle. And maybe wiggling is the same thing as jiggling. I don't know. Write it in the comments. Go ahead. Well, I guess we'll see those sometime later after we've published the video. We are really burning through this pick that I brought. So at some point I may have to break out the spare picks. Which, uh, <laughs> this was originally one of the spare picks uh, until I died in lava a couple of times and lost my main pick. And I didn't bother to rename it. Uh, do you have something else to say, buddy? Is that why you're tapping my arm? want to hear about Minecraft Real Life Mode, continue watching, or if you don't, just skip, just skip. Hang on, are you telling my vi viewers to stop watching the video? One, one minute, just, just time skip. One minute away, and then we'll see what happened one minute away. So, near in Minecraft Real Life Mode, there are some new monsters, and there's no toys, and there's something called jelly. Jelly, huh? Yeah. Jelly is red. Um, in the comments, I will chat with you if you want to chat with us. Um, sorry. Clearing up some inventory space here again. And then... He's gonna eat it all up. That's a joke I came up with. Don't mind with it. Oh, so I'm not actually gonna eat all these blocks? No. After the video, I'm gonna tell you more about Minecraft Real Life Mode. Okay. So... Maybe it is comforting to you, or maybe you just want to call it the big dig. The big dig? If you're green, you would just call it the boomers, which you might not know. Or if you're mumbo jumbo, you might think it is... What's going on You should here? do it. Okay. That's... That's right. Let's do that. Um, well, I so... I met Green before, though. And you probably never will, since I don't know him. I just watch his videos... That's something called a parasocial relationship where you kind of know 
a lot about a person who doesn't know you at all. And that happens when somebody is famous, uh, perhaps on the internet or perhaps in like movies or whatever. But you feel like you know them because so much of their life is public, but you actually don't know them at all. So. And it's important not to mistake a parasocial relationship for a real friendship because that's a path to disappointment and creepy behavior. And strange and strangers asking your name over and over again. If if you're um, if your social relationship is with me. Are you trying to say parasocial, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a long word there. I just said social relationship for short. Mm-hmm. But... It does kind of mean the opposite thing, though, because a social relationship is when you actually know somebody, and parasocial is when you feel like you know them, but you don't. I know Brian's name, but, and I watch Green. Well, I, you're not Green and you I don't think Green is his actual name, buddy. It's his stage name. And that's all we need to know. Uh, for those who don't know who Sarah Jr. is talking about, uh, Grian is a popular Minecraft YouTuber who uh, has been playing on the Hermitcraft server since the start of Season 6, and who is one of the best uh, builder players that I've seen personally. Uh, I'm a big fan. And Mojumbo used to have nothing really silly though. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo is a, another Minecraft YouTuber. He also plays on Hermitcraft and uh, he is a very good uh, redstoner who is very good at making redstone things in a way that I find uh, very understandable. If you mumbo jumbo after the video, chat with me and There's... I'll ask you if mumbo jumbo is your real name or not. Um... There's approximately zero chance that Mumbo Jumbo will ever see this video, buddy. Uh, it's just don't need to worry about it. Does Mumbo Jumbo ever watching videos? Put it down in the comments below. I, they don't need to put it down in the comments. Uh, we, we know he does because he talks about watching them in his videos. But the way the YouTube algorithms are, uh, with the amount of followers I have, it is very unlucky that any specific stranger would see one of our videos. Um, our videos tend to get seen by less than usually less than 30 people sometimes a video will get big for me uh, which translates to uh, maybe a hundred people seeing it so given just how many people there are in the world uh, the odds of any particular person being one of those Hundred is very tiny. Time for a time set. What? A time. 
I. For. That's not. A question. Part of my thing. What what question, buddy? Um, could you mind if there was a time lapse for you there, Dave? I don't have the tools to do time lapses. Oh. You need special software, and it's better if you're gonna do time lapses to have a second account set in uh, spectator mode because the way that the camera moves while you're playing if it gets sped up too fast it would make people feel sick from watching it Well, that's not what this video is going to be about, so don't start playing any of your instruments right now. After this video, we might be playing another one? I don't know. I don't Maybe if you do your chores. quite a bit of progress and I feel like this video is getting pretty long yeah 27 minutes that that's a long one so if you're still here uh, this far into the video uh, leave a comment and let me know that you were here and thank you for watching bye